please stand up. Would like to lead the prayer. Yes, Sarah, please lead the prayer. Let's all bow down our heads and feel the presence of the Lord. Amen. Good morning, class. So I'm Mark Rodell, one of the Buntabon, your teacher for the subject Electricity One. You can call me Sir Mark. Okay. So before you take your seats, please pick up some pieces of paper under your chairs and please arrange your chair properly. Thank you. You may not take your seats. Once again, good morning. How are you today, class? All right, that's great. You are feeling good today. Now, let me check first your attendance. Monitor, who is the absent? None? Very good, you have a perfect attendance. So before we discuss our topic for today, we need some recap about the last topic that we tackled last meeting. Anyone who can recall what was our topic last meeting? Yes, Carlo. Very good. It's all about electricity. And then what is electricity? Yes, Ben. Very good. Good job, Ben. So electricity is the flow of electrical power or charge. So electricity is what we call the secondary source of energy, which means we get it from the conversion of the other sources, which is the primary source of energy. Just like, for example, the oil, the natural gas, the nuclear power, those are the primary source of energy. So now, let's have an activity first. The class will be divided into two groups. The first group will be the boys. The second group will be the girls. What you are going to do now is you can guess and give description about the pictures that I'm presenting here to you right now. Okay? So a group who can guess and give description to many pictures is the group who can gain more points. Is that clear? Okay. So now I'm presenting to you the pictures. So what do you call this one? Okay. This one. Mm -hmm. The next one. Okay. All right. Time's up. Congratulations, boys. You are able to guess and give description to many pictures. Good job. And now, based on the activity that we did earlier, what could be the topic that we are going to discuss today? Anyone? Yes, Monday. Very good. So our topic for today is all about is all about the common electrical hand tools. Before we proceed, here's our objectives. Our learning objectives at the end of the lesson, the student will be able to, number one, identify the common types of electrical hand tools. The second one is perform the proper usage of the electrical hand tools using extension wires. The third one is value the proper usage of electrical hand tools. Electrical hand tools are very essential for day-to-day -day job. Do you agree with me? especially to the electricians, 
tools are valuable items that make work become quicker, simpler, and more convenient. Okay. So first that we have is the driving tools. Under driving tools are screw drivers. Familiar with screw drivers. So these are the tools made of steel hardened and tempered at the tip. It is used to loosen and to tighten screws. We have an example of screw drivers here. Okay, what do you call that one class? Very good, Mel. That is the standard or flat scroll driver. So this scroll driver is used to drive scrolls with single slot head. Yes, and it resembles a negative sign. It is used to loosen and to tighten screws. Yes. The next example that we have is what do you call that one? Yes, Friday. That is, you are correct. Phillips scroll driver. So this has a cross tip resembling what? A positive signs. This is used to drive scrolls with a cross slot heads okay the next one we have hammers mm, hammers so hammers is a tool used in driving or pounding and pulling up nails yes they are made sometimes steel sometimes wood yes and there's a plastic or rubber I have an example of hammer here. What do you call that one plus? Very good. That is a claw hammer. This one. Mm -hmm. And one. Yes, correct. That is the mallet hammer. The third one. Oh, you're very familiar with this. Yes, correct. That is ball pen hammer so next we have cutting tools so under cutting tools the pliers are familiar with pliers i know that because you are electrician you are an electrical student so the pliers is made from metal with insulators in the handle right and it is used for cutting for twisting, for bending, holding, and gripping wires and cables. Okay, next. We have, what do you call that one? That is a plier. That's an example of a plier. Correct. That is combination pliers or lineman pliers. This is used for gripping, holding, and cutting electrical wires and cables but it is more often used in gripping yes next we have what do you call this one class this is correct that is side cutting pliers so this type of wire is used for cutting fine medium and big wires and cables yes because as you can observe the word cutting is used to cut wires yes very good next one we have oh very familiar yes that is needle or long nose plier you are correct so this is used in cutting and holding fine wires but it is often used for holding wires okay so the next one okay we have what do you call that one anyone yes John 
correct? That is wire stripper. Okay, what is wire stripper? Mm -hmm. You see? A tool used for removing insulation. Insulation is the cover of conductor. Yes. The next one we have. Oh. They're very, very familiar for this tool. Correct. That is an electrician knife. So, electrician knife, it is used to what? By a lineman to remove insulator of wire. Yes. It is correct. So, these are their knives. The next one we have. What do you call that one? Yes, that is, that is an a hacksaw. What is hacksaw used for? What? It is a tool used to cut metal, conduit, and armored cable. Okay. So now I'm going to show you the proper usage of hand tools. So I have here, I prepare uh, four type of common electrical hand tools and I have also uh, an extension wire here. So I'm going to show you how to utilize these particular hand tools. So first, I have here the what do you call this one? This is the side cutting plier. The next one we have, yes, the long nose. The long nose or needle plier. The third one we have, what do you call this one? Correct. This is a Philip scroll driver. The last one. This is a combination pliers. At this moment, I will show you how to utilize those electrical hand tools. So first, we are going to use Philip scroll drivers. So, we need to loosen the Scrolls first. Yes, in loosening scrolls, you need to move counterclockwise like this, going to the left, in order for you to loosen the scrolls. Next one. Yes, this is how to utilize the. Philip screwdriver. If you tight this cross here, is you need to move clockwise. Get plus clockwise or to the right. Tighten. Yes. Counterclockwise. Loosen. Okay. So now. We have wires here, so we need to use again the Philip screwdriver to out the wires. Okay, next one, loosen, loosen it. Yes. So, as you can see, this is our wires, right? So now, we use the next tool. How to utilize this one? This is what? The side cutting wire. It is used to cut wires. So, cut and cut the wires yes 
is how to utilize the cutting fire. The next tool is the, what do you call this one? The long nose. It is used to hold wires. So if you twist this two wires, connect these two wires, you need to use long nose uh, to hold. Yes, like that. And as I said earlier, the long nose and combination plier are partner. It is also used to what? To twist or to bend the wires. So we're going to twist the wires like this. So that we connect the two wires. Okay. So, as you can see, and you learn something about the tools and how to utilize it. Okay, class. And now, let's have an activity. I have here an extension wire together with the hand tools. I call you one by one. What you are going to do is to choose at least one tool and show it in front of your classmate how to utilize that particular tools. Is that clear? Okay, so I call your name. Natividad Paul J. Okay. Very good. Rosetti R.D. Eden. Hmm. Ariel Abainsa. Okay. Moro Lawrence. Okay. Akbo Rolls Royce. Okay. And now, I want you to get one for sheet of paper. Based on the activity that you did earlier, I want you to write and say that as an electrical student, how important these tools, these hand tools in your life? You may now start. Time's up. Please pass your paper to the front. So your assignment, please study the common hand tools because next meeting we have a short quiz. Is that clear? Okay, thank you. That's all for today. Thank you and God bless. Please stand up. Let us pray. So bow down our heads and pray. Amen. Goodbye class. Goodbye.